You know what was going through DreamWorks Dark Ages head at the time they pitched her the sequel. Hmm. You know what? Rise of the Guardians are certainly deserves a sequel. Why don't we make that? Everybody would love that. But nah, fuck that. Let's just uh, make uh, childish as shit so like a Boss Baby 2 instead. As Why the fuck did I ever watch her? That's a piece of um, stinky diaper. <sighs> I literally uh, destroys my TV with one punch. That's how pissed off Boss Baby 2 made me in size. I still can't get over that uh, a Boss Baby sequel exists, uh, but a Rise of the Guardian sequel doesn't. Why does this world have to be so cruel? Uh, ah. Dreamworks, uh, this uh, is uh, literally your lowest low. This is the Alpha and uh, Omega of uh, the death of DreamWorks animation. The, the baddest of the bad. The stupidest of the stupid. Uh, the lowest of the low. So, let's get this over with. Uh, because I have better things to be doing uh, than uh, uh, talking about this uh, piece uh, of uh, cinematic uh, horseshit. So, Boss Baby 2, or Bullshit Baby 2, Family Business, directors, uh, not that there is any form of, of uh, directing in uh, this uh, shit by Tom McGrath, I mean, who also directed uh, the first... Uh, Atrocity, the boss baby, four years prior to this one, and is the uh, 2021 uh, crappy ass uh, sequel that uh, literally uh, nobody wants uh, to uh, exist, and is the is one of the two DreamWorks movies we received in 2021. Uh, which uh, was their worst year, hands down, along with Spirit Untamed, and uh, the 41st DreamWorks movie overall. So, uh, Bullshit Baby 2, a uh, family business, tells uh, the story, not uh, that there even is a fucking story here, uh, of uh, uh, Tim Templeton has now settled down with his wife and two daughters. Tina and Tabitha, and uh, his uh, brother uh, returns, and yeah, the Alec Baldwin uh, Stewie ripoff baby, and the two of them go from adults back to babies, and return uh, to Baby Corp uh, to uh, stop uh, this uh, villain, uh, Dr. Armstrong, from uh, uh, making babies uh, conquer the world and enslave uh, the parents. Yeah, it is that stupid as fuck. And get this twist, uh, uh, like, uh, Tom's uh, youngest uh, daughter uh, is uh, an agent of Baby Corp. And you know what, I am fucking done uh, with with, with uh, the niceties and uh, the the generosity uh, yeah don't you just uh, miss uh, the uh, the days uh, when uh, dreamworks uh, were were great and uh, i thought i would finally give my extreme rants on this one so sorry it took me 3 years but in all honesty i was putting it off for that long because i had uh, little to no desire to uh, put myself and subject myself to it.
can you blame me? But my good pal Lambo Rock Strikes Back has requested me for some time. So, buddy, uh, uh, this rant uh, will be dedicated to you. And uh, I hope you have a blast with it. Also, because if you've seen the recent shitty Despicable Me 4 trailer, uh, you would have noticed uh, Gru's uh, son is a uh, boss baby in Jack Jack ripoff. Uh, so, yeah, why not rant on Boss Baby 2 now? So you all know I thought the first Boss Baby from 2017 uh, is uh, was the worst DreamWorks movie, period. And certainly the worst uh, pre-House of Train Your Dragon 3 DreamWorks movie. Uh, but uh, if you thought the first Boss Baby uh, was bad, uh, then... Uh, you are not prepared, uh, my friends, because a bullshit baby to family business makes the first boss baby look okay in comparison. This uh, is uh, DreamWorks's uh, uh, w worst uh, movie or. or this is DreamWorks' worst movie. I, I, I uh, make no apologies uh, for that, and uh, I. I'm still speechless that critics uh, gave this one a pass and called it not that bad at the time when it released because they were manipulated by the manipulative family themes in, in this shit even though they were so sloppily executed and have been done infinitely better in way better uh, movies. Uh, so yeah, I, I have uh, nothing... Uh, uh, praiseworthy to say about Bullshit Baby 2, if you if you couldn't already tell. So let's plunge into all the uh, bull-fucking shit uh, this uh, uh, babyish uh, sequel has to offer. Like, uh, and I've seen people even dress their babies up as the boss baby for Halloween. Dr Dreamworks, uh, you are a really inspired parents to address their babies up uh, like uh, Alec Baldwin's baby. Oh, fucking shame on you. And here's why this is the worst post How to Train Your Dragon free Dreamworks movie and even shittier than Trolls Free Band uh, together. I mean, uh, it's uh, uh, a, a great DreamWorks sequel, like Shrek 2, uh, Madagascar 2, Kung Fu Panda 2, and uh, particularly How to Train Your Dragon 2, would uh, grow the characters and uh, uh, make them uh, progress to the next uh, stage, and would uh, not uh, be afraid to uh, be uh, darker than their predecessor, but not Boss Baby 2. Oh, Fucking no. It's uh, literally uh, uh, makes uh, the characters go back to square one and rehashes the exact same uh, bullshit uh, and uh, predictable conflicts from the first movie by having Tim and uh, his uh, uh, baby court brother go back to being babies again. Like uh, we don't like we don't need to see that. If you just kept him and his brother adults, uh, then uh, that uh, that uh, could have been uh, well a more mature direction to go. And uh, don't have uh, his uh, youngest daughter be a member of fucking Baby Corp. We don't need to go back there. And and uh, cut out that so uh, shitty ass uh, Doctor Armstrong villain who, in a twist, turns out to be a baby all this time. What a shock. Whoever uh, wrote uh, the uh, uh, script uh, uh, feels like uh, uh, they just uh, took a used a diaper for, for, from a baby and uh, said, this is the script. Heck, uh, even a growing baby in their mother's womb has more of a brain and more intelligence than the screenwriters. Uh, behind uh, this uh, sack of shits. W why the fuck is Ariana Greenblonde in this movie? Yes, Sasha from Barbie. Uh, Dreamworks, uh, how did you bribe her uh, to uh, uh, waste uh, her time and uh, talent uh, li like this uh, uh, when she voices Tabitha? In fact, she's a little overage for the character because she was 14 at the time. 
of this movie and, and even Tim's oldest daughter looks a little younger than that and this movie it could have focused on the sister relationship between Tabitha and Tina that would have been fresh and new and to see them grow as sisters um why the fuck do we need to bring back the focus of uh, Tim and uh, his brother that was resolved in the first movie we don't need to see them fall out again and uh, resolve their feud again like this is just uh, the first boss baby all over again and seeing a uh, two grown men just uh, playing with dummies while well, you Americans call them pacifiers uh, I'm like uh, oh wow you really think this is an uh, entertainment dreamworks you think even kids will laugh at that uh, lazy shit heck I have seen funnier moments in the hangover movies yeah this sequel it's a uh, trying uh, tremendously uh, to uh, uh, tickle your laugh box and uh, make you laugh, uh, but uh, it uh, is uh, the definition of unfunny. Comedy a failure 1-0-fucking-one, and uh, yeah, I I'm honestly uh, in, in utter shock this was not nominated for a Razzie for Worst Picture. <laughs> Even the animation uh, looks uh, like uh, the uh, laziest form of a DreamWorks Netflix uh, show uh, animation. Uh, DreamWorks, uh, I have seen uh, uh, baby baby food uh, mixed uh, with sick uh, look more attractive than the animation in this uh, slot. And uh, also the end credits song, Emotionally Manipulative. Uh, this uh, has to be... Hun Zimmer's uh, 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 weakest uh, movie score I have ever heard him compose. The composer of The Lion King composed Boss Baby 2. To go from the king of Disney and the king of movies to this, Zimmer, I expect far, far better from you, man. But uh, at least you got to more than redeem yourself with no time to die just months after this. Uh, 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 atrocity to mankind. Even Tim's a wife uh, feels a uh, sidelined. Uh, like uh, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, yeah, you know, for the theme, for the family theme, yeah, it's only uh, Tim and his brother, Tim's wife and parents, uh, do fuck all. I didn't feel anything uh, for that. Uh, 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 and I didn't feel anything for the uh, garbage villain, uh, Dr. Armstrong, who has to be DreamWorks' worst antagonist. Yes, even Steve Buscemi's ridiculous villain, uh, who wanted puppies to get more love from babies from the first movie, was a more like, <laughs> was a more likeable antagonist. I, but I, uh, didn't feel, uh, a lick of, uh, emotion when Dr. Armstrong, uh, got, got a family. I'm like, uh, you know, uh, you did uh, try and uh, uh, enslave all parents to, to do your bidding. Why the actual fuck would any parents want to take uh, you you in? And uh, uh, yeah, and, and good DreamWorks sequels would expand outside the location of the first movie, but no, Bullshit Baby 2 stays in the exact same fucking locations as, as the first film. Uh, and and, uh, yeah, this is truly one of the, uh, uh, worst, uh, animated, uh, movies, uh, I have ever seen in my entire life. I have recently been guessing over, uh, a, uh, winter cold, and, uh, yeah, and watching this made me feel sick all over again, like, I was truly having the blues, the, yeah, uh, Alec Baldwin, uh, I mean, uh, even, you have, uh, never been good in DreamWorks movies, man, like, your villain Makunga from Madagascar 2, uh, was weak, but your character, the boss baby, just blows. James Marsden, stop starring in shitty movies, man, come on, first, you're in, in the Sonic movies, and, 
at, and now this. So yeah, uh, at the end of the freaking day, a bullshit baby to a family business, uh, uh, fucking sucks, sucks, and sucks. It's a kind of go choke on my cock for all I uh, fucking care. I never bring your uh, kids up on on this one, uh, guys. I mean, don't even tell them about the, the boss baby. Like, uh, this is the worst... This is the shittiest animated movie of 2021, and one of the top 10 worst uh, movies of 2021 in general. And yes, uh, uh, one of uh, the... Uh, um, worst uh, sequels uh, ever made, and it doesn't even have uh, the trope in DreamWorks sequels where the main characters reunited with a long lost family member, and it still fucking sucks. And it I give bullshit baby to family business. Zero stars out of five. Fuck this movie. Worst DreamWorks movie ever. Ooh. Oh, 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 well, that was the easiest zero uh, hours of ten in a half that I have ever raised as uh, a DreamWorks movie. I mean, uh, let's uh, 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 pray that DreamWorks uh, never uh, makes uh, a movie uh, this uh, ungodly shit again. Well, with... Uh, uh, you know what remake coming in 2025 that involves a uh, fire breathing uh, reptiles. I wouldn't be so sure about that. <sighs> well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, extreme rant. And what are your thoughts on a boss baby two family business? Need I ask? Is there anyone? that actually likes it please comment and let me know please like this video and subscribe please follow you on twitter and on instagram and i'll see you all next time uh, and remember movies are us bye guys <laughs>